In this video, I will show you how to clear cache on Android TV. So over here, I have my Android Smart TV and I'm going to show you how to clear both the app cache and the general cache on Android TV. So to clear the general cache data on your Android TV, you want to go over to the settings icon at the top right corner of the TV. So scroll to the top and then scroll horizontally until you get to this settings icon. Now click on the settings icon and now you want to scroll down until you get to device preferences click on it and then you also want to scroll down until where you get to storage over there so you want to go ahead and click on storage and then click on internal shared storage so just click on it and then you want to scroll down until you get to cached data so click on catch data and then you want to go ahead and click on clear catch data so just go ahead and click on ok on your android tv and then the cache data on your android tv will automatically be cleared now, if you want to clear the cache of specific apps on your Android TV, you just want to go back to the settings of your TV. And then you want to go to apps. Go ahead and open it. And then you want to go to see all apps. And then in this page, you just want to scroll down and find the app you actually want to clear your cached data for. So in my case, if I want to clear the cached data for the YouTube app, I can just go ahead and click on YouTube and so I can just scroll down until I get to clear cache and then go ahead and click on clear cache and then go ahead and click on OK again and the cache of my YouTube will automatically be cleared. Now if I also want to go ahead and clear all of the data that is stored on the YouTube app on my Android TV, I can also go ahead and click on clear data, click on OK and all the data stored on my YouTube app will also be cleared on my Android TV. So basically that is how to clear the general cache and app cache on your android tv guys if this video was helpful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one